Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this photo right here. Knife welding man confronts police outside burning house in Stratham, police say. Man claimed others were inside, but firefighters say no one was. A man welding a knife outside his burning Stratham home was arrested Thursday, police said. Police said Edwin Alvins, 51, was outside his burning house at 1 Crestview Terrence when they arrived about 3 a.m. They encountered a 51-year-old man in the front yard armed with a knife and what appeared to be a machete, said Police Chief Anthony King. Neighbors Emily and Ryan said they woke up to the sound of Alvin's screaming and called 911. The police kept asking him if there was anyone else in the house and he was kind of not cooperating right away, said Emily. He wouldn't allow them in, so at that time they had to tase him and take him into custody, King said. Ryan said the fire continued to spread while police were dealing with Alvin. The whole second floor was just engulfed in flames, Ryan said. I mean, it was something you see in the movies. Emily said Alvin's continued to yell after he was restrained. He did yell, yes, yes, my whole family was in the house, she said. He also yelled out at warning to an officer who was preparing to enter the home, Emily said. He was shouting, don't go, don't go. I left the valve open on the propane tanks, she said. That turned out to be not to be the case, according to the state fire marshal's office. Firefighters searched the home, but no one else was inside and no explosions were reported. Firefighters were also able to confine the damage to one home. The building's fairly isolated from any surrounding structures, so there was no real threat to it spreading to any other building, said Fire Chief. Investigators are trying to determine how the fire started. Alvin's has been charged with resisting detention, and police said more charges could be filed. A GoFundMe campaign has been created to help support the family. That campaign can be found here. You can click in on that link inside the article. We will have the article up on the Riley King Network Facebook page. And that does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening, and I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night and bye, everyone.